Welcome back, all you kings, queens, and in-betweens to another podcast crew review here on the channel. And today we are talking about one of the anime that I'm super excited to talk about. This is a hype anime. In a, in a anime season so far of lots of mids, this is coming out as the king of the monsters. Like that, don't you? I know you do. I do, I do. <laughs> of course, we are talking about Kaiju number eight. Oof. Miguel, what are your thoughts on Kaiju number eight? First, I want to touch on opening and ending. <sighs> opening banger just straight up banger i my only complaint about the opening is i wish it was longer i've listened to this now on loop many times and it becomes very repetitive when it's only about a minute and change i think a little over two minutes long but oh man it's so good ending it's grown on me as a very kind of like wholesome kind of like oh it's like a little friend anime um i know your thoughts on it but uh i just think it's good for us to kind of establish that this is something different Yes, it absolutely is. What are your thoughts? I really like both of the songs. I was not really a young blood person going into this. I didn't really listen to any of their stuff, yeah. but I really like the song. I don't feel like it feels like an anime opening. I feel like it just feels like a, a good song and it has a borderline relevant video <laughs> to it. That's more just like a screensaver, but I think it's cool. It's a cool combination. Yeah. And the ending, I already liked One Republic. So okay. I like the kind of feel good aspect of it, but also doesn't feel as it feels more like an anime adjacent thing than the opening I think does because there's a lot of those like you know soft melodic kind da, of da, upbeat da, da. kind of thing yeah. it it fits an anime ending yeah. so I like that but I think neither one of them feels like ultra connected to the anime itself but well, I do like them I mean if you think about it a lot of animes if you actually like listen to the lyrics especially ones that we enjoy have nothing to do with the plot whatsoever or it's anything true. else it's just yeah. a good song and this is not to say that other anime openings and endings are bad. I'm sure we could potentially even do a whole list of our favorite anime openings and endings. But this one in particular, I feel like it's different. That's kind of the big, biggest it's thing. You've got a well. major Western star. I have been to a Youngblood concert. Felt like definitely everyone's dad there, but that's a whole other conversation. Um, I definitely enjoy his music. There are some of his songs that I feel take a lot of liberties with where they're inspired from um but overall they have a lot of really good songs um one plug i know of them i've listened to a few of the songs i can't say i know their catalog very well but two very western kind of bands in a very you know anime kind of thing doesn't really go together but it i feel like it works and i feel like it's something different um visually the opening is extremely cg which I, or i think predominantly is cg which i don't think we see in a lot of uh, anime openings i mean i'm sure there are but we don't see it very often um and then the ending is much more kind of like let's do typical anime grand things let's thing. bring it down let's calm things down a bit you know um but again i i like both the songs i like how they're done um i am still a bit of a sucker for the more traditional like let's get a japanese band doing a certain song um which we can definitely speak up on a certain another anime that we have um but yeah I, I enjoy them i think these are great songs i definitely think that it's funny that the band that they have doing the opening is called young blood when this is the anime that they comment about the protagonist's age more than any other anime that i watched <laughs> that i can remember yeah yeah young blood does a thing with old man yeah they, talk, they call him old all the time what's he 32 yeah and oh yeah 30 early 30s is like listen we don't need to be seen that much no. watching this anime they're calling me out there because if he's old then i'm definitely the grandpa unfortunately the overall i like what this anime i'm picking up what this anime is putting down yes. i think it's got a good tone to it i was getting a little frustrated on the back-to-back -back episodes there where he was just like refusing to transform and i was just <laughs> waiting for it and i was like oh is this gonna be a whole thing where the, he, he's just gonna like get stronger as an individual and then not rely on the transformation it's no. like no i'm here for the freaking transformation yeah and, and they they went into it i mean not to, to jump ahead too far too quickly but when he's speaking with the blonde girl she tells him no if you tell anybody they're gonna kill you on site or they're gonna dissect you you can't do that he's like oh yeah that's right so i'm waiting for that thing where you know it's gonna happen where he has to more publicly so i'm waiting for that so that kind of makes that kind of payoff exciting it is definitely a little frustrating because his kaiju form is in all the marketing it's in the intro it's everything. like oh, i can't wait to see it and they're not showing it it's like oh my god there wasn't a he didn't transform at all this episode period yeah i was expecting him to just transform like under the suit yeah and the suit measures his like physical ability and whatnot so it's 
not something he can hide regardless. So they kind of took away that loophole, which was the loophole I thought he was just going to use, where he was just going to transform onto the suit. Nobody would know. His yeah. face would stay the same. But they'd be able to tell that he's the like the 9.8 or whatever. Yeah, fortitude. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think overall, I think... Um, this anime has done a lot with its characters. It's gotten you invested into them. It's given you enough so you like can relate to at least some of them and feel comfortable. Like whether your favorite character is the protagonist or the gray haired best friend because he's just so sweet, he's trying so hard, or the very stoic uh, Asuka esque uh, commander that is his best friend, or the many many side characters that we have now. You know, it's I feel like there's someone that everyone can relate to, and they give you just enough. Like you know what, I like that one. We're getting plot, and the plot's moving forward, even like in small increments where they're trying to do even more plot points. Like they have the second in command to the main female commander best friend person who was like, oh, I want him on the team because he makes me laugh. But he goes, no, there's something about you. you. Need to find out what it is, and I'm gonna find out. There's almost like an evil tone to it. So I'm like, oh what's gonna happen yeah, there like you want to know these things yeah i like i like his design i just i call him the count because he just reminds me of just like a <laughs> vampire like mushroom cut guy but i like him as a character because he presents outwardly like he's kind of like a doofus yeah. but he has like a calculating yes like there's a reason behind the things that he's exactly. doing i liked that we got to see you know the main female protagonist smile Oh, I literally that was like, like a blink and you miss it. Yeah, thing. you yeah. were you were watching me watch it today, and I, and I was like, oh, did she just smile? And then they like, commented yeah. on the fact that she smiled, because that was getting to see that she sees that he's trying. Because if they were just gonna keep doing it like she's across the room and he, they have to pretend like they don't know each other, which yeah. is like kind of how they've been acting. I was gonna get real tired of that real fast, but. I like the fact that she sees he's trying to make an effort, yes. uh, which is, I think that's cool. In the most recent episode, I think they've led, they've laid down the groundwork for him to get into real serious trouble because he's realized that the other people on the team are huge fans of hers and admire her, look up to her. And he kind of explained that he actually knows her from childhood. Like, oh, tell us everything. So he started telling them so much more. So now... I think to kind of hold a certain amount of authority, you have to have a certain amount of disconnect from the field that you're going to be overseeing. He's now humanized her a lot more, and I feel like she's going to get mad that she's kind of pulling that from her. Um, but I don't know. It may not be anything at all. But overall, is I just I really enjoyed how he's also not starstruck because like you know I want to get to know her and stuff, but it's because I know her and I want to make her proud. I want to see her like a huge celebrity. Um, I, I'm really excited. Like I said, this is so far the show. It's it's like I said, it's hit every piston completely, and it's definitely going at full speed. And I'm very excited to kind of see how far it will go. Um, I'm interested to see them build more on the aspects of like the tech that they use and the different powers that they're going to be able to manifest because not everybody's just going to be a person who shoots a gun i also need an explanation on why some of them can shoot guns more effectively than others like why does blonde the girl's girl gun do more damage everybody's than everybody else up. yeah and the other ones just hit armor yeah is it just they're all using the same gun yeah so why does her battle potential make her gun Stronger. penetrate better does it draw on their battle potential what does that come from where did the battle potential thing come from is that a kaiju derived thing where it's like the fortitude kind I, of thing i would love to know i don't care if they tell us anytime soon just because i i like their texture. what we didn't touch upon is there is one kaiju that's not like the rest of them he's the one that brought them the dead ones back i think it's interesting that there's like seemingly a faction of like ascended kaiju that these ones that they're used to fighting are like the lower rung yeah, of that but there's more i i'm very curious about that humanoid one that you mentioned then because we see him at the end of that episode turning into a cleaner part of his old crew he's like oh yeah sorry da, da, da. but i i don't know has he been with the team the whole time he just didn't realize it has he just joined the team because they called him rookie i think yeah um so, and then when they were speaking and fighting, it seemed like he didn't understand our world very well. Like he had just learned consciousness. So, like, how is he going to keep up that pretense when he's around people all the time? Like, are they evolving? Yeah. And, like, they start out as the lower rungs and they kind of, like, evolve upward? Is that how the it works? I'm sure we're going to get introduced to other ones that have different abilities. Again, this is like a good that. example of laying down just enough to kind of get you invested, but not so much that becomes overbearing exposition and not so little that's like what does that even mean so this was good yeah i'm fine if he is like the main 
thing that is the kind of like the boss that they come up against in this mm. season and we don't learn much beyond that besides hints at what's going on yeah. like maybe we find out that there's an organization of gonna, them yeah, other ones like that. we see them in silhouette or shadow or whatever and we get enough from him to make you curious yeah. and that's kind of the how they're confronted because their whole world is going to be shifted because they don't realize oh, that that's a thing that can happen they don't realize that there are humanoid kaiju out there they don't realize that there's ones that have intelligence or anything like that i in my own paranoid brain i'm gonna say that he's an experiment that's gone rogue or released made by humans Ooh. who are trying to make kaijus and they're like we need to get as far from this and then they realize all the kaijus in the world didn't just show up they're experiments that got loose and it's kind of like you create the problem then you create how to fix a problem and that's how you stay in business that's what my paranoid brain thinks it is and then that's gonna just completely break down everyone's faith in the kaiju defense force was like wait a second you guys are the bad guys <laughs> like no yeah. we're the good guys no you're the bad guys um that's what i'm gonna say it is there's I'm also the possibility there's others like the main character out there who and got infected with by something kaiju insects or whatever that kaiju infected was was conscious Did yeah because he says i found you so was he looking for him which you know why so yeah. again i'm 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 on board i think this is definitely a hugely high recommend and um i i don't think right now they're gonna i don't want to hope too hard but i don't think they could do any wrong right now i think they're on a good path and doing the right things they're progressing just fast enough to keep my interest so that it's a stamp of approval from me especially this season something that we hope that always gets your stamp of approval is this podcast crew review content here on the channel we hope that you're enjoying our check-ins. This is the mid-season, so there's halfway a lot of there. stuff going on. Halfway there. Yep, halfway there. Let us know down in the comments after leaving a like what you think of Kaiju number eight. What do you think about the other things you're watching this season? Yeah, let us know if you what your crazy tinfoil hat theories are on who the bad guys are <laughs> and what's going on. Uh, do you have any favorite Kaiju so far? Um, and are you still with it? Are you still going with it? Do you enjoy it as much as we do? What did you think of the opening? All your thoughts. We want to know as much as you want to share. Absolutely. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Hey, all you kings, queens, and in-betweens. I just wanted to let you know that the folks over at Primal TCG have set up a promo for just our viewers. Use the promo code KINGS10 at shop.primaltcg.com for $10 off your purchase. I recommend popping in for the deck box bundle. For just $60 and $50 with our code, you get one of their premium deck boxes and their extended promo bundle, including a promo pack, a pre-release pack, and two demo decks. Everything you need to get started.